This is the story of Walter Nebaker. Doing what he likes best, fighting crime in the streets. You see, Walter's a policeman. Unfortunately, the chief doesn't want Walter on the streets. Captain, get back to your cage, boy. Now! So Walter must fight crime in his own way, in the computer room. That's where he's an expert. Fortunately for me, Walter's advanced knowledge of electronics led him to experiment with what is called a hologram. That's a very fancy word for a three-dimensional picture that, when perfected, can be made to look real, sound real. As a matter of fact, given enough power, it can even be made to feel real. That's kind of what got me into this world. My name is Auto Man. You must be Walter Nebaker. How did you know that? It's on the programming you fed into my system. I must say, Walter, you're very good. Very good indeed. I look wonderful. If you do say so yourself. <laughs> well, you programmed me to be honest. But tell me, why did you call me Auto Man? It means that you're the world's first truly automatic man. You can do anything because you're not real. Oh, but I am. I'm as real as you are, just different. And thanks to you, perfect. Nobody's perfect, Auto Man. Well, that's not true, Walter. You've programmed me to observe other people and do whatever they can do as well as they can do it. Jimmy Connors playing tennis, John Travolta dancing. In fact, on a scale of one to ten, think of me as an eleven. I've created a monster. <laughs> No, what Walter really created was a wonderful force for good. Auto Man. That's me. Beautiful ladies, really beautiful. Sensational. All right, moving right along. Fantastic work, girls. Sweetheart, you're looking terrific. Well, you see the charts. Your single's up to number two in the country. I got 70,000 advance orders on the video. If we were any hotter, they'd have to call the fire department. Dad, we did it. We really did it. This is just the beginning. You're going all the way to the top. I only wish your mother was around to see you. Okay, sweet cakes, let's try it again. We'll pick it up with the instrumental bridge, okay? Playback and action!
before, Lieutenant. I don't know what kind of a sick mind to do a thing like this. Well, maybe he was sick. He was also very smart. My man tells me that the exploded device is pretty complex. You're lucky nobody was hurt more seriously. Are you telling me I'm lucky? My daughter was up there. She could have been killed. Now look, Mr. Cole, I'm not saying this just to alarm you, but we have to consider the possibility that she was the one they were after. I mean, she wouldn't be the first celebrity that was targeted like this. Whoever it is, you gotta find him. You gotta find him, lock him up. All right, that's the idea. Hello, Walter. What a remarkable place this is. You know, from a room like this, a hologram could rule the world. <laughs> Easy, Otto. Holograms aren't exactly what you'd call an organized political party. Nor are the Democrats and Republicans, from what I can tell. Come on, Otto. This is serious. I know. The computer you summoned me on briefed me. Our systems have already become quite intimate. Take a look at what's left of this detonating device. Hmm. Obviously activated by remote. No timer. You suppose it could have been triggered by something in here? No, Walter. It was the music. Look at this. It's a sound actuation circuit. You're absolutely right. As soon as the programmed frequency was hit, the bomb went off. Diabolical. Now, all I've got to do is figure out who could have gotten near that equipment and planted those explosives. Anything more I can do, Walter? Uh... Thanks, Otto. No, I should be able to take it from here. Lee Cole. How'd you like the fireworks, Lee? Who the hell is this? I know what you did, Lee. I was there that night in Texas. I don't know what you're talking about. I want $50,000 in small bills, or next time it won't be a warning. You don't scare me. 24 hours, Lee, or else the world's going to meet the skeleton in your closet. Change, but I'm not that good of a liar. <laughs> How are you, Lee? I'm fine. If you were fine, you wouldn't be here. Am I right? A man doesn't drop by after 25 years to say hello, everything is fine. It's about Jessie, my daughter. The last time you worked for me, she was a tiny little baby. <laughs> <laughs> She's a big star now. That's what I heard. Congratulations. Uh, she's a terrific kid, Frank. I wish you could meet her. Yeah. Now she's got a problem, now. Actually, the problem's mine. I got a guy, he's putting the screws on me. I'm worried what it could do to Jesse's career. You want this guy to leave you alone? That's all. Say no more about it, Lee. I got a couple of very persuasive employees. I could loan them to you for a while. I don't know how to thank you, Frank. Forget it. I've owed you all these years. I'm glad I can finally make good on it. Have some more cannelloni? <laughs> if I do, I'll bust. <laughs> you know... I never realized what a terrific cook you are. Oh, this? Oh, just a few odds and ends I threw together. Oh, <laughs> uh, hope, hope you save some room for dessert. <clears throat> are 
you sure I can't help? Uh, no, no thanks. Uh, it's, it's kind of a surprise. Love cursor? Exactly three seconds to fix that. That's better. Wally, what's going on in there? What is taking you so? Is that for me? I hope nobody told you it's my birthday. It's not. It's for one year with the department. So that's why this fancy dinner. How thoughtful of you, Wally. Congratulations, Roxanne, your one and only cursor? You little fugitive from a memory board. This time I ground you. Oh, don't. For once, I think it's kind of cute. Do you know how my day got started? Uh, no, sir. I... Rock and roll. You know what my least favorite subject in the world is? Yes, sir. I, I think I do. So now I got to assign a man from security to play nursemaid to the three little dolls. <laughs> Imagine that. The problem is I don't have a man. So what do I do? I look around and I say, who do I not need the most around here? Uh, you mean me, Captain? What are you waiting for, son? Hit the bricks. Yes, sir. I, I mean, thank you, sir. Individually, everything is looking fine, but we have to create a sense of ensemble. We have to be aware of what everything is. Something I can do for you? Uh, I just want you to know, Officer Nebaker. We met yesterday. I've been assigned to security. For my girls? Yeah. yeah I'm certainly appreciative, but uh, I contracted my own security. Mr. Cole, what happened here last night was no accident. Somebody deliberately placed that bomb. We just want to find out who and why. And we want to make sure it doesn't happen again. You're not the only ones. If you don't mind, uh, I'll just have a look around. Sure, help yourself. OK, here we go. Ladies, lots of energy, please. Play that. Walter? Hello, Walter. Hello. What, what are you doing here? Well, I called the station. Roxanne told me you'd been assigned security for Sweet Kicks. I thought you might be needing my help. <laughs> well, I don't, especially not looking like that. Walter, I'd like to stay. This may be my only chance to study a whole new culture. What new culture? Why, rock and roll, of course. <gasps> I've become quite a fan of late. Is that so? Well, you don't have to be human to want to get down and boogie. Of course not. C correct me if I'm wrong, Walter, but Cut. compared to the way some of these rock groups look, I'm dressed rather conservatively. You're wrong, Otto. You'd stick out in any crowd. Well, I take it then you'd like me to change. Only if you want to stick around. Well, don't worry. The next time you see me, I'll blend right in with the scenery. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Cursor? Uh, hello. Oh, hi there. Hi, uh, I'm Officer Nebaker. Uh, I've been assigned to uh, protect you. I didn't know cops came this cute. <laughs> uh, 
if you don't mind, I'd like to accompany you to... Oh, well, we're on our way to the dressing room. I... Do you blush easily? <laughs> <laughs> girls, girls, would you feel this muscle? He's oh. a hunk in sheep's clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me if I drop. Are uh, there any more like you back home? Who are you? Otto's the name. Uh, Otto's my partner. We'll be personally responsible for your well-being as long as you're in town. How personally? <laughs> well, I guess you'll both be coming to the party later. The party? Yes, at the president of our record company's house. We're celebrating the success of our new single. Well, we wouldn't miss it for the world. Good. I guess I'll see you later. Bye-bye. All bye. right, bye-bye. Uh, Down, boy. I can't help it, Walter. I'm a sucker for beauty. <laughs> God, what happened? Some nut tried to run me over. An auto saved my life. How can I ever thank you? You can start with a couple of straight answers. This is two cases of attempted murder in two days. Let me talk to these guys alone, then. Go on, take it easy for a while. Look, this is my daughter's life we're talking about. You think if I knew anything, anything at all, I wouldn't tell you. Mr. Cole? Yeah? Tony Lupus. This is Carl Kane. Oh, uh, you must be the new security team. That's right. Oh, come on with me, I'll fill you in. Listen, thanks again. There's something very strange going on. I have a feeling Mr. Cole is playing with cards he isn't showing. Yes, Walter. Those two men seem strangely familiar to me. Their images seem to be imprinted upon my memory. They may be. Those two have mob written all over them. Where? Figure of speech, Auto Man. Let's run a make on them. All right. I have their likenesses programmed. We can tap into the police terminal from the computer upstairs. Mr. Ledron tells us you uh, need some protection. So who's the wise guy? I don't know. I've never seen him. I only heard his voice on the telephone. Extortion, huh? What's he got on you? Hey, I thought you guys said you were protection, not detectives. I got enough of them hanging around. Usually, if one of these bozos gets a strong hook on a person, there's only one way to ensure he doesn't come around anymore. And uh, those kind of services don't come cheap. Listen, I don't know who or what we're up against here, but I don't want to see any bloodshed. Can we just scare this guy? Sure. If he scares. What if he doesn't? I don't want any more trouble. Please, just stay close to the girls. Well, that shouldn't be too rough, huh? <clears throat> I uh, just got a rundown on those two names Walter called in with. Tony Lupus and Carl Kane. The Ladrone mob? Well, there's no doubt about it. It looks like the syndicate is trying to muscle in on this rock group. Well, those two guys are bad business anyway to stack them. Captain, I'd like to put them under surveillance. If they were running some kind of an insurance racket, you know, then the thing would start to make sense. It's the only thing that does make sense so far. All right, Lieutenant. Keep an eye on them. Yes, sir. And you better keep in contact with Nebish. I wouldn't want you to be tripping over it. Yes, sir. Hi, Dad. Jesse, I didn't see you. Ah, uh, you look like an angel descended. Can we talk before we go to the party? Sure, but what is it? You may be fooling everyone else, Dad, but I know you too well. You're not fooling me. I don't know what you mean. What I mean is the explosion. That car almost running me down. 
I mean, whatever it is, you have to tell me. I was hoping you'd never have to know about it, but... What is it? You remember that Texas town we played in a couple of weeks ago? Seaport? How could I forget? The acoustics were so bad, we almost ran off the stage. Just before we left, a man came to me. Local cop. He said he found drugs in your room. Dad, that's a lie. You think I don't know that? And he threatened to arrest you and the girls. It would have been a huge stink. What happened? He wanted money. I refused. He pulled out a gun. I grabbed at it. And it went off. Oh, my God. I didn't mean to do it. It just went off. Then I get a call yesterday. Someone who claims he saw what happened. So I paid a visit to an old friend and asked for some help. Why not just level with the police? They never believe me. It's not me I'm worried about, sweets. It's you. Come on. We don't want to be late for that party. You're going to shine like a thousand stars. Yeah, I got you, Walter. Everything cool? Roger. Everything's A-OK. -okay. can't make it. Sick? Sick is no excuse. The only possible excuse for not being here is a death. And by that, I mean yours. How about this house, huh? Mm. And one day we're all gonna have houses like this. <laughs> Lee, who are those goons you hired? They're the best in the business. Yeah, but the question is what business? Girls, that's not our problem. Our problem is our guitar player just canceled. What? He can't do that. You're right, so I fired him. But, Lee, what are we going to do now? I mean, look at all these people. I guess we'll just have to wing it off the playback. Did you hear that, Walter? The guitar player is canceled. Like the man said, that's not our problem. Those two guys may be another story, though. I wonder what the connection is between them and Lee Cole. See the guy in that car? Let's cruise around the block once and see if he tries to make a move on Jesse. Come on, Otto. We better stay with him. You stay with them, Walter. One of us should remain with the ladies, don't you think? Sometimes, Otto, man. I'm so glad you could come. Me too. I understand there's a problem. On top of all the other craziness, our guitar player canceled. Perhaps I could be of some assistance. Do you know someone? I think I might have a hot lick or two up my sleeve. I bet you do. I'll be right back. Curses? You heard the lady. Let there be music. Very nice, Cursor. This should do beautifully. Jack, Lucas and Kane are headed your way. Yeah, I got them. He's following us. What's his game? I don't know. I'll take him up into the hills, and then we can ask him. All right, ladies, anytime you're ready. What's he doing? Don't worry, Dad. This guy is special.
are you doing? Rocking out, man. You come with me right now! Can't stop the music, Walter. Come on! What's the hurry, Walter? I'll tell you what the hurry is. Stop partying so much. Let's go with us. Uh, let's see what he's got. Okay, boys, I'll play. One Charlie 16. I'm in pursuit of a green 75 Plymouth westbound on Mulholland east of Oak Canyon. They're over on Mulholland. Take a left. friend stay away from sweet kicks <laughs> <laughs> in Hawaii wouldn't cure. Come on. They warned you to stay away from sweet kicks? Right. Look, here's a thought. What if Lee Cole hired these two goons to protect the girls from somebody and they thought I was the somebody? He did say he had contracted his own security. Why would he use mobsters instead of police protection? Maybe Mr. Cole is trying to conceal something from the police. Here's Lee Cole's criminal file. In 1959, Lee Cole took the fall for a payola scam involving mob-owned record labels. Frank Ladrone was also implicated, but he got off scot-free. He stays clean for 25 years. And why, all of a sudden, does he connect with these people again? I don't believe this. You guys beat up a cop? Hey, we didn't know that going in. We thought he was your guy. If this is protection, I'm amazed Frank Ladrone lived this long. Uh, let's not get too personal, Mr. Cole, huh? Lee Cole. Time's up, Lee. You have the money? Yeah, I have it. Good boy. There's a clearing near the end of Skyline Road. You know where that is? Yeah, I know where it is. Be there in one hour. Alone. Remember, pal, I'll be watching you. What's the guarantee you won't be back for more in a week? Why, nothing, Lee. Nothing at all. <laughs> As I mentioned previously, I believe we can offer a certain guarantee, Mr. Cole. That is, if you're interested. I'm See, uh, Frank Ladron has expressed to us his interest in the future well-being of your girls. 
for a small consideration, we can arrange to uh, erase the problem? Look, I told you guys I don't want any bloodshed. Now, just get him off my back. We'll do our best, Mr. Cole. Officer Nebaker. Yeah, I want it's me. Hi, Lieutenant. What's up? Lupus and Kane just turned up dead. How? Their car went off the side of Skyline Road. Any ideas what they were doing out there? Yeah, the boys found an empty attache case. Might have been a payoff. You know, more and more, this thing looks like blackmail. I'm going to come down and have a word with Lee Cole. Roger, Lieutenant. See you when you get here. Where did Auto Man get off to? I'm so glad you're here. There's no place I'd rather be. You're the most unusual man I've ever met. I know. It's part of my design. <laughs> and one of the funniest. I love a man that makes me feel. And I make you feel? Here's harmless enough. What is it? It's... I... Excuse me. you do to her? I was doing just fine until that newspaper came along. What newspaper? The one she had in her hand. The Seaport, Texas Sun, dated the 14th of last month. Volume 4, issue 29, circulation 67. I get the idea, Otto. She reacted very strongly to something. I don't know what. Let's go see if we can find out. Dad! Oh, my God. He's gonna kill me. Not, sweetheart. I swear it. I'll find a way. I'm not gonna let anybody hurt my baby. It's all so crazy. Why is he doing this to us? Take it easy, honey. I'll take care of it. How? I don't know. I'll pay him off. I'll get the money. It'll be all right. I'm so scared. Auto man, here it is. Sweet Kicks was in Seaport the same day that officer was killed. Yeah. 
And if the two were connected somehow, there'd be a real extortion motive. We better show this to Jack. Walter, I'm very weak. All this daytime work has severely depleted my circuits. There's a generator outside. You can power up there. Right. Stand. What do you want with me? Now! Auto man, quick, the auto car. I can't, Walter. I'm having trouble holding my own form together. But he's getting away. Oh, we'll try. Cursor? I know, Cursor, but it's our only chance. Try. No, I was afraid of this, Walter. Power failure. I'll be back when I can. Auto Man, why does he always do that at the worst possible time? What happened, Lee? My boys, Hoopers and Kane, have turned up dead this morning. It was him, Frank, the guy. He's destroying everything we've worked for. You have a good thing going, Lee. Nice girls, pretty music. Is it worth all that violence? I just can't see it. I want to pay him off, Frank. I need a loan. You know, I've always liked you, Lee. Never forgot the favor you did for me. But now we're even. I cannot put forth any more resources. Please, Frank. I'm all tied up. I got no place else to go. Don't beg, Lee. You have my answer. I am sorry you're in trouble, but you must understand my position. Business is business. You're Sam Clementine, from the sound crew. And you're my meal ticket. Old Lee's gonna pay through the teeth if he ever wants to see you again. But why? For the money. You think I want to set up amplifiers the rest of my life? I wouldn't try that if I were you. You're a sick man. Maybe so. You wouldn't want to get me excited now, would you? My daughter's life we're talking about. I just can't tell you anymore. We're only interested in helping your daughter, Mr. Cole. Look, look, sooner or later, you're going to have to trust somebody because sooner or later, the whole story is going to come out. Now, I'd like to hear it now. Before Jesse winds up in the morgue, huh? All right, get somebody in here. I'll make a statement. Come on, Otto. I know you're in there. How long can it take to recharge? Walter, Lee Cole was talking. He's agreed to cooperate. We're headed back to his office to set up for the ransom call. Let's go. I've got your little girl here, Lee. She wants to say hi. Daddy, give him whatever he wants. He's gonna call him. Fill in the blanks, <sighs> Lee. Do anything he says. Whatever you say. Money is no object. I'll pay you anything. Just don't hurt my Jesse. The stakes have gone up. I want $100,000. I can handle it. Sycamore Road, two miles and off the highway, half an hour. You come alone this time, Lee, or the little lady won't be singing anymore. Let's move it. Uh, you go ahead. I'll catch up. I have to make a phone call. Keep your eyes open. 
Just don't panic. It's easy for you to say you do this for a living. We killed Jesse already. Not as long as he needs her, trust me. Come out in front of the car where I can see you, Lee! Here, take the briefcase. Lee, I've got you covered. Go on. That's far enough. Clementine? Evening, Lee. I don't believe this. I was there that night in Seaport, Lee. I saw the whole thing. Just so you can rest easy, you didn't kill that cop. He wasn't dead when you left him. But when I figured what it might be worth in the long run, I finished the job for you. And all this time, you... You're a madman. Maybe so, but that's what got us here. Now set the case down. Now step back. finally figured out where she is. Cursor? Any chance at all it would be you. You're like a knight in shining armor. You're my damsel in distress. A fairy town would have us as lovers. Yes, but reality must keep us just good friends. Seaport police called to thank us for the tape you guys made, and they say that. Clementine is as good as convicted. Well, as soon as they finish with him, he'll face trial here for killing Lupus and Kane. You know, Captain, you really ought to let Walter out on the street a little more often, huh? Uh, the most important thing of all is that you're all all right. You know, in my whole life, I can never thank you guys enough. Well, just knowing that Sweet Kicks has a fresh start is thanks enough for us. Okay, the girls are all ready for you. <laughs> 